You know, you uh, maybe go to the, one of those old-fashioned soda places, those yeah. really cool diners. That's where Corey's at today. Have a phosphorus soda. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> yeah, phosphate. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Tangy. Oh, who knows what's? Who knows what they were putting into sodas a uh, hundred years ago? It was like anything goes. What is this? This chemical makes it fizzy. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> you can count on the, the taste here at McAlpine's again since 1929. They've been hard at work, and uh, look who's here. Our friend Monica. We've been getting together since 2001 when I arrived in the valley. And that congratulations on a great going thing. And as we look behind you here, it's, um, you know, a lot of restaurants have tried to recreate what you do here for real. You know, they get some tchotchkes and they nail them to the wall or whatever. But the decor here is so fun. It's, it's, a, it's a trip through history. It is. It's things that we've collected throughout the years. Some of the stuff has actually been used in the operation. We opened, like you said, in 1929, so we're 90 years old this year. Congrats. And amazing. There are not many businesses in the Valley. You're in some rare air, I'm sure. We, we are. We are. And we're local, so that's really quite important. Throughout the years, our customers included Wayne Newton, Barry Goldwater, um, let me uh, Rose Mofford, she'd always sit at the front booth, John well, She McKinney. was probably about 12 years old. <laughs> At that probably, time, probably. <laughs> well, it's such a fun place, and uh, especially your the fountain itself. Uh, mm -hmm. There's so much to see here, and it really is a trip uh, back in time. Now. The food is great, and it's traditional. Uh, we're looking at a couple of uh, offerings here. Uh, give us a tour here, Monica. What are we looking at? So what we have right here is a good old-fashioned sloppy joe sandwich with mm. a homemade potato salad. Perfect. And a chicken salad with our Hawaiian coleslaw. And what we're known for is our ice cream. Uh-huh. This, this is a strawberry ice cream soda with blue raspberry. So strawberry ice cream, blue raspberry soda, which Jason loves. Yeah, I bet Jason does. Well, Jason, let's talk about this uh, thing. Um, so this is some extra soda, I understand. Now, you know you know what color this is going to turn your tongue, right? Yeah, blue. And how long do you think that blue color will last? For, for, for a day. Yeah, for the whole day, perhaps even into tomorrow. So I want you to, this is a commitment, you know, a soda like this. Uh, here, go ahead and grab a straw there, would you, buddy? There you are. It's a bendy straw, and those are my favorites. So tear that paper off, and um, let's see how this all works. We got some extra soda for you here as well because, oh, man, extra blue. Look at this. Here, test this out first. Just take a sip of this first. There you go. Oh now let's see God. your tongue. It's like smurf yeah. soda. Yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah. That's exactly, exactly what we're after. All right. Go ahead, get your straw in there. Start working on that thing. So we'll check with you in a couple of weeks. With strawberry. Yeah. Oh. And some bubble gum in there too. Ooh, oh fancy. yeah. Show that tongue again. This kid. That's so yeah. Oh my gosh. And remember to wear a white T-shirt oh. when you go too. Yeah. And remember to finish it off with some pie. Oh, you gotta wash down it's your cherry pie. It's just the best. <laughs> with some strawberry yeah, you know it. Berry. Hey, this thing's not gonna drink itself, kid. Get after get, it. Get to work, buddy. Mm. There is something about ice cream in a soda. You're talking oh. about root beer floats. Yeah, I grew up on root beer floats. It's so, so good. They're so good. And sometimes a little bit of the root beer like freezes on uh -huh. the side of the ice cream. You yeah. can scoop that mm, off. So good. They need a well, Corey is at McAlpine's Vintage Shop, and he's dressed up quite nicely now. So part of the shop is a soda fountain, mm -hmm. and part of the shop is vintage clothing. Core, is that what we're... And, and and furniture as well. In fact, if you want a baby grand piano, they've got that too. It is one of the most fun shops in the whole valley, and it is chock full of stuff. Not too crowded, uh, but there is so much to see, and uh, everything from jewelry to sheet music to, um, again, uh, shoes and boots and clothing and coats of, of all kinds. Uh, if you need saddle shoes, Celeste, what's your foot size? About a two? Yeah, we've got you covered here. But anyway, we, we got it all there. Now, Monica, I'm wearing, not my pants, these are my own pants, but I'm very impressed with how you can dress a guy, again, like about 1970, the Nixon administration, big collar, a lapel you could land an aircraft uh, on. 
Yes, and uh, the, the shirt fits uh, nicely too. And I just yanked this off the rack. Very easy to do. Now we got a bit of a fashion show coming, so let's bring our first model down here and uh, we'll see how it all works. Then you can tell me who's who and what she's wearing. So this is my daughter Holly and this is Henry. And Holly has a circle skirt from the 50s and she has a cute little crinoline underneath. Look at that. Oh, well, well, and, and we're growing up together. We uh, she are, was yes. just a kid last time, she, she, first time I ever she met her. She was 10 years old when you met her, Oh, Corey. I love that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, all right, come on down. Oh, look at these kids. They're ready for this hot cop. Boy, aren't they, though? Look, he's a tough. Don't, don't they look wonderful? Uh, yeah. Leather jacket. Yeah, look at this. Cat eye glasses. This is straight out of the yearbook. I think you two are probably going to be most likely to have a parole officer. <laughs> yeah, right over there you go. <laughs> All right, come on down. Let's not waste time. Oh, look who's here. We've met Jason already. I like his port his hat he's got going. That, that's quite the fashion statement. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yes. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me, tell us about Jason's date. This is Amanda. Mm -hmm. And Amanda has on some pretty snazzy saddle shoes and her gingham check circle dress and then a really cute vintage sweater very good uh, right over there you go and uh look. come on down come on down there we go oh look again back to about 1950 what did you say uh ready for the sock top victoria she's from ireland she came all the way from ireland oh. to see mccalpy very good. Well, you know, I like to throw down my Irish accent every once in a while when I get a chance to do it. Oh, you look great. Thanks for coming in. And let's wrap it up uh, with a, a double look here. Oh, my. Two great eras. Fantastic. First of all, on the left, Allison, right? This is Allison. Mm -hmm. And Allison has, a, she has quite an ensemble with the purse and the gloves in the 1950s dress with the cashmere collar and wow. a feather hat. So cute. And then just 10 years later, look what's happening. And what then was look happening. at Lindsay. She, she is <laughs> rocking the 70s. Boy, her, the go-go go boots and everything. Go-go go boots. And Nail all of it found right bracelet. here at McAlpine's. All Again, 7th McAlpine. Street just north of? North of McDowell, gotcha. south of Thomas, 7th Street in Oak. Very good. All right. Right over there you go. Give us a wave out, everybody. At what time can we come in for lunch today? You can come in 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. today. Open seven days a week. On Friday and Saturday, we stay here until 8 p.m. Very good. All right. This is the spot. Here you are, miss. There you go. Your ah. Ah, there you go. Right. That's it for us, you guys. <laughs> we'll see you soon, everybody. Doesn't he look like he's going on a fun trip? With, with her, yeah, just kind of like they're dressed up to board a plane, yeah. sit first class, take that.